Hello, I'm Sherry Truler with Red Apple Auctions, and today we are going to talk to an artist to get his opinion about donating to benefit auctions. And it can always be a little tricky with art because unless you're doing an art auction, you may not have art lovers in the crowd. So how do you get you know artwork that's going to work for you? Well, Steve Haskamp is a real live artist. Here he is in his studio. He's surrounded by the tools of his trade. I met Steve uh, through his partner, Dale. Dale and I went to college together, and at the time they were living out in San Diego, and whenever I would go out to San Diego, I'd always like to stop by and say hello to them. So there we are eating a nice meal. And when I was in Trader Joe's not too long ago, I purchased a card, flipped it over, and on the back, who do I see? but by Steve Haskamp. So one of his designs here has been made into a greeting card which is being handled by Trader Joe's. So what a perfect guy, right? He's got this fascinating blog. He gets up every morning. He creates these designs. He sends them to his agent and his agent looks at him and says, hmm, that to me looks like it would be a fabric. I'm going to send that out to different fabric designers. Or, ooh, that to me looks like it should be in a children's book. It's an illustration. I'm going to send it to some people that I know in that business. You know, it's a really fascinating how he's just creating the designs and then uh, making a living from his creativity. So I asked him about, you know, donating to benefit auctions, and he said, well, the easiest thing that's going to be to donate is an existing print. So if they have something that's already worked up, that's going to be the simplest thing to donate. Totally agree with that. And I said, you know, but Steve, some of the things might not really work for a benefit auction. What if the style doesn't or if they just don't like it? So he said, well, you know, at the least let the artist choose his own medium. If you're working with oils, they're going to want to work with oils. If they are a watercolor artist, they're going to work with watercolors. You're not going to ask a watercolor artist to donate an oil. And I just showed you a photo here because this was what Steve was working on the day that I visited him, which were scratch and sniff stickers. So those are going to be made up into strawberry shortcake, I'm guessing, uh, scratch and sniff, sniff stickers. But you're going to let them choose their own medium. The other thing that Steve said that I thought was a great idea was that they might have a newfound interest as well. And if they do, they might want to donate something along those lines and be even more excited about giving you something that is new and fresh to them. For instance, one of the things that Steve is starting to explore is painting portraits of pets. And this is not one of his works, but um, he is excited about that and delving into it. So that could be the same true with you. So maybe you've got someone who is suddenly really interested in doing collages, um, although that's not traditionally what they've done. That's what their passion is right now, and they're more interested in working on that. Fine, let them do a collage for you. He also mentioned that small pieces as a donation are going to be much more likely. Uh, five by seven is pretty typical. You know, if you get something that's three foot by five foot, it's going to be hard to display that and get it home anyway. So small pieces are what you should generally expect. And I asked Steve, I said, you know, a lot of the things that seem pretty popular at our benefit auctions right now are pen and ink drawings of a home. For instance, this particular one was from a school auction. This gentleman is not a professional artist, but he does a very nice job, doesn't he? That's a great rendition there. And Steve said, you know, I think any artist worth his weight would be able to do a basic pen and ink drawing of your home. So that could be something that you could ask to, um, to get from an artist uh, if if uh, they're at a loss for what to do for you, or maybe they've got a talent, but they're not a professional artist, but they have a talent. See if they'd be able to do something like that for your auction. Now, of course, the other thing is, is um, I asked Steve, I said, do you get bombarded with requests? And he said, you know what, I have no problem saying no. <laughs> if I'm too busy, I'll just say no. So just don't be afraid to ask, because um, it, it, you never know what their situation in life is. They might be willing to donate right then and there, or if they can't, don't take that as a no forever. Just make sure that on the next year you go ahead and stop by again. It may be that they just can't donate in that particular year, but they'd be more than happy to donate in the following years. So don't give up easily. Now, if you're looking for other great... Oh, thank you, Steve, as well, for the tour of your studio. Very much enjoy that. Uh, if you're looking for other great ideas here, I encourage you to head on over to the website. That's at redappleauctions.com. I have a free gift for you up there, which is our auction item guide. It's our 100 top-selling auction items um, that sold in auctions last year. I'm Sherry with Red Apple Auctions. Thank you for watching, and as always, good luck to you in your benefit auction.